Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is a very, very exciting video, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, the title, and what's happening right here. I have a very special announcement to make. I've got two little ragdoll kitties. Hi, you guys. I'm gonna cry. So I decided to start the video like this because while I've been waiting for these kittens, I've been watching so many kitten videos and like getting kitten vlogs. And usually I always skip right to the end because I wanna see the kitten. So I thought I'd start this video with the kittens, isn't that right? So you guys can see them straight away. And then we can get into the vlog portion of me like buying all their things and going to get them. So let me introduce you to, this is Melody. Hi Melody. They're both very sleepy right now, so they want to stay here, but I just want to show them to you a little bit. She is a seal bicolor rag doll. She has a very white face, but she has little brown ears as you can see. Hi Mochi! And this is Mr. Mochi. This is little Mochi. He is a flame bicolor rag doll, so he has little orange ears. I'm gonna leave him alone now and let them cuddle wherever they want. You guys, this is literally, I have been waiting for this like my whole entire life. Like I have been such a cat lover ever since I was just like a little girl. <laughs> what are you doing? And I was never allowed to have cats. So I kind of like settled with the idea that I would never have a cat. But then me and Nikki got to talking a little while back and we decided to get kittens. And at first we were just gonna get one. And I really wanted a rag doll because living here we have to have an indoor cat. And I got to researching and found out the ragdolls are really good indoor cats. Also, I mean, they're just beautiful. Their temperament is amazing. And I've just heard such good things about them. So I really wanted to get a ragdoll. I got straight to researching like breeders, whatever. And I found this really nice breeder on Facebook. And I FaceTimed her. She showed me all the kittens. Everything looked so amazing. So we decided to get a kitten from her. At first, we were just gonna get one, as I said, but she told me that she recommends always getting two kittens if you can like afford it and if you have the space for it because it's actually less work because they keep each other company, they play together, and they're much happier. So we decided to do that in the end, and I'm so happy that we did. You can see them like every day just running around playing with each other, and I can't imagine what it would be like if it was just one. I mean, obviously, like it would have worked out fine, but I'm very happy that we decided to get two. So I'm I'm not gonna keep this intro any longer because I just want to get straight into the getting the kittens in the vlog portion. And don't worry, I have plenty of videos of the kittens in this video. Keep on watching and you will get lots and lots of kitten content. We have a cat haul. These are like, look at all these packages. I have some more down there. First of all, excuse my nails. I'm in the middle of doing them and I have not finished the thumb and this hand. So I ordered all the things that the breeder told me that I needed for the cats. And I'm so excited to open them. Let's see what it is. This is the first thing that we got. It's this water fountain. The breeder said that they love this and it's so cute. This is huge. Look how cute that is. It's a little fountain. Eee! This one's from the brand Catmate and I bought it on Amazon. Another package from Amazon. I'm pretty sure these are the food bowls. Wait, this, this is not the color that I ordered. These are really ugly. These are like dog bowls. What I mean, does that not look white to you? Also, it does say dog bowl. I did not see that. So, I mean, they are very big. Okay. <laughs> First fail. I'm pretty sure this is the litter box. Oh my goodness. Cute. That's pretty cute, right? They have like a little door and they can have their privacy in there. Ah, it's very big as well, which I think is probably good for them. Pretty sure because they have enough room for their business. I bought this from Pets at Home, by the way. I ordered most things from Pets at Home and then some from Sue Plus and then some from Amazon. Next up, this is probably the food. We got the cat carrier. I just got one because I wanted to see the size of it and I'm not sure if I need two cat carriers for two cats or if they can fit in there together. I mean, because they're still kittens, they can probably fit in there together and I would 
think that they would like to be together in the carrier on the way home because you know they're with their sibling and they feel better probably but then when they get bigger i'll get another one like to take them to the bed and stuff i like the color of this carrier i think it's pretty and it feels very sturdy so it feels like the cats can stand in here while i'm holding it which is good isn't that just so cute that is really sweet <coughs> And then here is just some food. This is the dry food that I bought. This is what the breeder said they were on and I just wanted to go with the same thing because I trust her. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting emotional just looking at this stuff. Seriously. <laughs> then I got this wet food from Whiskas. It, how do you say this? Whiskas? It's like a jelly chicken thing. I got these pouches as well with like chicken so I can mix them together. That's what the breeder suggested. And this is what she's been feeding them. So I got a couple of these pouches. I got this like grooming brush. I don't know if this is a good one, but I think, I mean, there's a picture of a ragdoll right here. So it's probably okay. I know it's good to groom ragdolls regularly because their fur is like very long so it can get really tangly easily. And then I just got a little poop scooper. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the cat tree that I got, but the box is really small, so I'm not really sure. I got a pretty big cat tree, but it was not expensive, so I'm excited to see how it looks. This is the thing that I'm most excited about, but I need to put this together, which I'm going to do probably later today. It just has like a bunch of these. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure this is the litter. Why is it so so freaking heavy. I had a hard time carrying this upstairs. How am I gonna be a cat owner if I can't even carry like a litter, a bag of litter? Oh my god. Just a close up of the stuff that I've bought so far. These ugly ass bowls. I need to get some new ones. These are ugly. And this. Also guys, I'm very happy to receive any tips in the comments, but please let's keep them constructive. I am a first time cat owner. I'm really, really trying my best in researching things and like getting the best stuff and things like that, but I'm always willing to get some more info. The cat tree is here. It was fairly easy to put together and I think it's so cute with the little mice here, little hammock, little space here for the kitties and some scratchy things. I had to put these boxes away but I just put it in the studio because this is where I spend most of my time in the day and I thought maybe they would like to hang out with their mother. Put the litter tray thing here. I kind of wish I could put it in this corner right here because it would be like a little bit more hidden but this is fine. Hi guys, so today is the day. We are on our way to get the kittens. Um, It's like a two hour ride and I made a mistake with the navigation in the beginning so we've been driving for a while but we're almost there now and we're so excited Are you excited? Yeah, really I've just enjoyed, enjoyed this ride Have you? Yeah, it's been a, been a hell, hell of a ride <laughs> It's been a hell of a ride It's been a journey We just rented a car and are driving so we have the little carrier back there this is like such a cute little town that we're in right now. We're almost there. I am pretty nervous. I'm so excited that I'm like kind of turning nervous now. My heart's like gonna pump out of my chest. I feel like he's pretty calm. I have owned plenty of cats in my life. Yeah. But I'm really excited too. But not, not cats like these. No, no. I have never owned any cats, as I have probably said before in this video. So this is a very big day for me. It's a very big step for a little Embla. Hi! Is it shy open it? I'll yeah. just try to get her. Babies! Oh, Let's look at them! them. How calm they are. Little mochi is just like hanging out. He's purring. Melody is a little bit more. I feel like she's still deciding 
if she wants to trust us or not so she's staying like a little bit further away and <laughs> a few minutes ago she was like sitting on Naku's chest just staring into his eyes for like a good minute but yeah they were really good as soon as they came in they just started walking around exploring everything we're not like scared at all running underneath the bed underneath everything in all the rooms and just exploring so they've been doing really good there's already been a little pee in the litter box which is a good sign i think and i've already seen at least mochi has eaten a little bit from the cat food that i've laid out for them so that's a positive She's getting a little bit closer. I want to cry at how cute these cats are. Guys. Mm, I can't believe we finally have little kittens. Look at that face. They have literally been sleeping like this for the whole afternoon. Look at them. Probably tired from the trip. It's been a really big day for you guys, hasn't it? So it's day two of having the cats. We woke up a couple hours ago. She does not want to stay with me right now. She was laying on my lap the whole time I was doing my makeup, but now she wants to play with the tripod. Here is Mochi. He's been sleeping a little bit. You little sleepy boy, aren't you? But now they're all up and ready to play. So yesterday was actually really good. Everything worked out really well. When we first came into the apartment and we opened up the carrier, they went out straight away. I wasn't sure if they were gonna stay in the carrier for a little bit, but they came out straight away. They were not nervous at all. They just kind of walked around everywhere, exploring every little corner in the house. Melody was a little bit more like cautious at first. She was a little bit like cautious of us. She's <laughs> really a talker, like she keeps meowing, but I feel like that's just normal. Mochi was a cuddler from the star. He came over straight away and laid in Neku's lap. Melody did in the end and this morning she was laying in my lap the whole time I was doing my makeup but she was a little bit more cautious at first. Hi, do you want to be in mommy's video? Last night we went to sleep and we just had everything open in here and they stayed with us most of the night, I think. I was not aware of them. I woke up at 4 a.m. and they were like kind of walking around. You can see her there. But they were really chill. They weren't really like doing anything. And then they just came and cuddled with us. So everything has been going so good. They have been eating really well. They've been using the litter tray. I had like the dry food like biscuits out. Like I've had them out for the whole oh, yesterday and the whole night and everything. And then I gave them this morning some raw like wet food and some milk like kitten baby milk, which they are drinking right now. Melody keeps sneezing. I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm just going to see. If it continues today and tomorrow if it's a problem hi mochi i don't know if i've already said their names but this is little baby mochi little orange ears he had a little eye booger right there poor guy she's playing with a camera string they love this blanket right here we kept the blanket with us last night and they slept on it all night and what are you no you're gonna you're gonna take down the camera melody Stop it! They love their cat tree. They've been climbing in it. They have been scratching the cat tree. He was sleeping in his carrier a couple of minutes ago. So that's nice to know that they can have a little safe space in their carrier. I got like a little kitten basket from the breeder. So I'm going to show you guys. I've already opened it a little bit. So it's not as pretty as when she gave it to me. But I'll just show you guys anyway. So she gave us this amazing basket and there's more she gave us some cat grass which is apparently really good for them to eat and like for their stomachs i think some treats little treats you have the treats she gave us this laser cat toy how cool is that we have this like catnip infused little kitten toy some of the food that i've been feeding them she gave us this kitten milk i've already given them one bowl of this today here is the other basket like look at this stuff a lot of toys i've already taken like a couple toys out of this just to play with them but there's so much in here do you want to play with the toys do you want to play with <gasps> These little guys are probably going to be everywhere in the apartment. Then we just have some food for them. Lots of little wet food packets. So yeah, oh, I'm so excited. So just a little kitten update from the first full day of them here. They have slept so much today, but right now they're full on playing. Aren't you guys? Are you playing? Are you 
playing with your brother? It really surprised me how much these guys can sleep. They've been laying here on the couch all day, just chilling. What a good life. But now they're just walking around. They seem really happy and confident. They've been eating a lot and using the litter tray and everything is just going so well, guys. I'm so happy. I put up this little um, tunnel thing that the breeder gave us. They seem to really love it. And then here, um, she gave me some cat grass as well and I just put, popped it in. So that's gonna be exciting when it grows. Hello, babies. How are you, babies? You scratching? <laughs> that's not a toy melody. No, 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 no. <laughs> I messaged the breeder because Melody has been sneezing a little bit today, haven't you? She did yesterday as well and I don't think it's- It's not like a lot, but it's just like every two hours or so, she'll like sneeze a little bit. Um, and she said that she might have a little cold, so I'm just gonna check how she feels tomorrow. If she's still sneezing and if she doesn't stop, I will take her to the vet. She does not want to be with me right now, she wants to be with her brother. No! No climbing. How can you say no to that face? <laughs> Look at them. So it is the second full day with the kittens here. So I thought I'd pop in and do a little update on how they're doing. Here's Miss Melody just chilling behind the couch. Hi. Hello, beautiful. Mr. Mochi Sleepyhead is always sleeping and he's just right here. Don't scratch the couch, Melody. I'm actually looking into options on how to get them to stop scratching furniture. Um, I've watched like so many videos on it. So if you have any tips, leave them down below. There's a lot to learn about stuff like that. Just look at them. So yeah, last night was amazing as well. I think they slept in our bed the whole night. Miss Melody. I had to move rooms because my washing machine was going crazy but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you liked it if you did please subscribe and check out my other social media also the cans will probably be in a lot of my future videos so please subscribe if you want to see more of their little tiny cute faces and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye